Hello, Jacqueline Haley here, Hand of the Queen. Today I have uh, an entry to share. It is number 22, and it is coming from the lovely Vintage Rose Creations by Kim. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it and see what Kim has sent. I always call her Kimmy, I don't know. But let's get into it. I hope you don't mind that I call you Kimmy. All right. It is wrapped in a beautiful lavender tissue paper. She has a very gorgeous flower handcrafted by her on top. It is a uh, doily. Um, well, it's a lace embroidered fabric. And then it is uh, another fabric, like silky. And then she has seam binding or ribbon. No, that's seam binding. And then a satin petal flower. It is circled. Uh, she has circled pearls in the center and placed a uh, purple satin uh, ribbon on top. Are you seeing this? It is beautiful. And it is tied in another shade of a burgundy lavender uh, sheer organza striped ribbon or it's edged all right let's get into it what have you sent Kimmy and uh, the entry really is not late uh what happened was i inadvertently uh had the challenge entries ending the 11th of november uh without realizing that it was veterans day so uh the drawing is not until the 18th so if anybody wants to jump in and craft an eight by eight pocket, please go to my uh, entry challenge uh, video and review the rules. All right, I'm getting into it. Oh my goodness. It is simply amazing. It looks like she has selected the angel theme and it is gorgeous. I didn't, I saw your VR, Kimmy, but I really can't remember right now exactly what your details were on the VR. So I will try to, um, I'll try to represent as best as I can. She has it on a quilted fabric. And she has placed a lavender lace over top of that. Then there is a very dainty white lace bordering on the edges. I hope you're seeing this. And there's a white lace bordering across the top with a lavender trim in the center of the white lace and let's see where do i go next so many details oh my goodness she has and this time i remember the name she has three yo-yo flowers i couldn't remember once before on another video but they're yo-yo flowers and there are two lavender and one purple and she has vintage uh, lace on top of those in the center. 
and another uh oh this is um clay uh angel in the center of that it's from a mold and she probably has uh made those uh molds herself uh okay and then on this corner she has a lovely lavender satin ribbon another let's see under that there is lavender lace and there is uh, on top a vintage doily there is lavender seam binding and various uh looks like she may have dyed that lavender seam binding and then she has this gorgeous uh shade of um lace nylon lace in a purple on this side there is a sequin trim going down the center of this dainty white uh trim let's see there's a flat back pink pearl here oh i didn't mention there's a vintage button in the center of that vintage uh doily flower uh, you try to catch all the details but it's hard i'm doing the best i can so kimmy i hope i'm doing you justice uh she has a pocket here and uh lavender laced on the side there is a image of an angel or a cherub. She has stickled and glittered the uh, ribbons on the angel. Uh, there are uh, rhinestones at the corners. There's a scrap of a, or a snippet, I should say, of a flower from an embroidery trim here. It is um, bordered with another embroidery trim. Let's see. At the bottom, there's this deep, gorgeous violet uh, and wedding embellishment. And then she has a lavender lace layer here and there's a layer of beautiful beautiful lavender eyelet cotton uh, lace with a like a scallop border at the bottom simply beautiful i do hope you all are seeing this Now let's go to the back. It's just as beautiful as the front. She has used various laces, lavender, like a, a lavender here, vintage buttons in the corner, and another lavender lace. Um, that's a velvet, a velvet ribbon. Another lavender lace here. Vintage buttons and a pearl again. Uh, another snippet uh, flower doily piece here. Another vintage button. More vintage buttons on the bottom with uh, pearls and a lavender lace here, the other shade coming through from the front, and the cotton uh, doily on the bottom. At the center of the back, there is a vintage doily. She has crafted a beautiful shade of purple center of, for a flower and then placed embellishment, embroidered embellishment pieces on top of that, and a flat back pearl in the center, 
and she has handmade cam Lippincott, October 2019. This is gorgeous, Kim. Thank you so much for supporting me and my very first challenge. Uh, there's also sequin trim here, if I didn't mention it. Let me bring it up a little closer so you can see the details. Sequin trim on this side of the pocket. Uh, and sequin trim on this side as well. Here's the lovely handcrafted flower that she has made. It's beautiful. And her, um, her insignia. I do hope you're seeing this. Never know which way to turn. So that's why I use different ways. All right, let's go into the pocket. She has a cord which says Jacqueline and we'll see what it says. Oh my goodness, Kimmy. I'm gonna have to use my letter opener. All right. Get it all the way. And there is a beautiful cherub or angel. Hope you're seeing this. Apologize if there's any glare. I have a lot of light in this room. Inside, she has Jacqueline. Congrats on 300, and thanks for being a great crafty friend. Hugs, Kim Lippincott. That is her note to me. So thank you, for Kim, for being my friend. Um, let's go ahead and... She's got something inside, I believe, yes. Let's see what's inside. Oh my, it's got a lot. Wouldn't be Kimmy if she didn't. Oh, I've got some of that gorgeous lace. Oh my gosh, here is the quilted, uh, when I was saying it was uh, over top of a quilted, uh, Fabric, that is the inside. All right, now let's review what all Kim has gifted me. Oh my goodness. All right. First, there is a beautiful, gorgeous purple metal piece. Oh, it looks like it was probably uh, on a necklace because it has a loop in the back. So I could uh, loop ribbon through that and use it on a dangle. That is gorgeous. All right. Then she has, don't know where to go, so much stuff. She's gifted me this beautiful uh, violet sequin trim. Well, let me see if I can show that a little better instead of it all being bunched up. All right, isn't that gorgeous? Must be two yards or more of it. Thank you so much for that, Kimmy. Oh, not finished yet. All right. Then she has gifted me, oh, I got the beautiful piece of the cotton uh, eyelet. It's a yard that she placed on the bottom of her pocket. Are you all seeing this? Oh, let me try. 
All right, this I'm using my right hand. Now, I'm not good with my left hand. All right, and this is folded in half. Hope you're seeing this. Pattern is very beautiful. Thank you so much for that, Kimmy. Then she has gifted me some lavender, a dusty lavender fabric. It's a large, uh, maybe an eight by eight. All right. Next she has, oh, more things from her pocket that she used, oh my goodness, over a yard. Where did I start? All right, this is the lavender lace that she has gifted me. Beautiful lace. I hope you're seeing this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness, lavender. I think Kimmy is a purple person also. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are purple people. All right. And then, oh, uh, the most beautiful. Kimmy, did you dye this? I believe she probably hand dyed it. So lavender, the lace also that she used on the pocket, on the eight by eight pocket. It is gorgeous. Thank you so much. And it is a lot of it. Thank you for that, Kimmy. I love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is about lavender. It's my birthstone for one thing, so it's my birthright. Um, then she has gifted me some mermaid cards. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mermaid cards with the heart. It says, love mermaids. Hope you're seeing this. I love mermaids. And I do. It is also related to my birth sign. As I am a Pisces. Which is the fish sign. And then she has gifted me another one of those lovely cherubs with the cord that goes with it. The um, scalloped or edged uh, flap. Thank you, Kimmy. I tell you, everyone has just been so amazingly... Uh, generous with the gifts. I'm not finished yet. I'm slow. Beautiful. Now, Kimmy, you must have dyed these. Beautiful lavender doilies. Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous. Gorgeous doilies. Oh, love it. What else have you done? Let's see. She has then gifted me some hymnal sheets. Um, he arose is one that will be good for Easter. The next one says, how great thou art. And certainly that can be used every day, the song. And then one says, 
God will take care of you. I'm glad that he's taking care of me. That's for sure. Another one says, In the Garden. Oh, that's a beautiful song. I remember that one. I remember many of them. Love Lifted Me. Also another wonderful hymnal. And the Old Rugged Cross. Oh, my. And the other one is Christ Arose. So all of these lovely hymnal sheets from Kim. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for these, Kimmy. I'm saying Kim. I'm saying Kimmy. Whatever comes to mind, that's what I'm saying. Oh, thank you so much. Mostly appreciated. All right. Then she has gifted me. There's more. Some ephemera. This is the uh, lavender and the lavender shades. Oh, where's my... Let's see. We have this one. Then we have this one. Hope you're seeing these. We have this one. And we have, let me see. I get it right. We have this one. We have another. They're all in the lavender or mauve shades. And they're gorgeous. Thank you so much for those, Kimmy. I don't know what paper book line these are. I had that one wrong, but they are beautiful. So thank you so much for that. Then there's more. She has gifted me some embellishment embroidery pieces. And you know I'm always bad with this, opening these. Bear with me. I know it's here somewhere. Well, I don't want to ruin the package because it is so sweet. Uh, let me just bring it up close for you to see. They're bows. They're embellished bows. So I'll be able to use those. And they look like they're various sizes. Let me snip this open. I can't stand it. All right, they're not various sizes, but there's a lot of them. These are the bows that she has gifted me. And I'll certainly be able to use those on many projects. So thank you for those, Kimmy. All right. And now, we will reveal her um, Memory Dex card. This is it. It's beautiful. It's on a scrapbooking paper. And it says, Sentimental Treasure. There is a bird. Let me get this right. There is a bird. And uh, it is stacked on top of uh, a tag. Uh, she has lace ties. The tag is, of course, uh, distressed around the edges. Then she has... Uh, stickled 
the rows and there's um just lost it uh sequins here and uh, rhinestones bordering each side of the rows and then there is a snippet of uh, embroidery trim here and a vintage button so I hope I have described that well and uh, there is a, a lace trim trailing down the left the right side are you seeing this oh my goodness i hope so and let's read the details uh she is kim lippincott vintage rose creations by kim she lives in florida uh, she gives her Gmail. She says, I love pastels, creams, and whites, and love to create in vintage and shabby styles most. Her birthday is January the 30th. Thank you so much for everything, Kim. Just overly overly generous um, offerings and then there are two vintage buttons that I left out that she uh, she also gifted me those again if you don't know Kimmy be sure to go to her YouTube channel you know I'm not savvy with linking so she is Vintage Rose Creations by Kim. And she uh, often has um, auctions and hauls. You will definitely, most definitely enjoy viewing uh, her channel. So go there and see all of the lovely, lovely, awesome vintage creations that she crafts oh my goodness there's so many well at this time i'm going to close down and uh as mentioned this uh the drawing is the 18th um so if you feel like you want to enter and you have the time go ahead and do so i will be reviewing entries up until the 18th early and i will not be doing the drawing until probably after 7 or 8 p.m uh at night i'm expecting an entry from scotland and i'm expecting uh another entry from florida maybe one from uh north carolina so they're still uh coming in so if you feel like you want to do it go ahead you have until the 18th i would say by 5 p.m safely uh, for me to review your entry if you send one after that if you send one after the 18th i will not be able to include you in the draw but i will re review your entry um thank you all again for watching happy trails Hugs, Kim. Much love. Thank you. Goodbye.